Hello, this is Bishop Michael Burbage of the Diocese of Arlington. In our gospel this Sunday, we are taken aback by the words of Jesus to the Canaanite woman who begged our Lord to heal her possessed daughter. The Savior of the world came to save all people. So why does Jesus try to send this woman away? But here's what we see. Through her testing, she demonstrated her faith and became a witness to all who hear of her encounter, even now, 2,000 years later. When we are introduced to the Canaanite woman, she is calling out after Jesus to help her. We might cringe a bit when we hear Jesus dismiss her, a Gentile, by saying, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then when the woman persists even more, we might cringe again when our Lord says, no, this is not the right time for doing this. Yet the woman persists in her faith. Now we are aware that Jesus knows all things, including how much this mother loved her daughter, how much faith she had in our Lord, even as a Gentile. By his response, Jesus offered her the opportunity to show her love and faith, especially in hardship. After she refused to give up, Jesus reveals his heart, proclaiming these beautiful words, Woman, great is your faith, and healed her daughter at once. This woman, who may have seemed ignored, gives witness to our need for persistence in prayer. Jesus tells us that whoever asks will receive, whoever seeks will find, and whoever knocks will have the door open for them. Yet the example of this Sunday's gospel illustrates that it often takes repeated efforts. We are confident in knowing that the Lord fully is aware of the desires of our hearts and we recognize that sometimes he offers us trials in our prayer to show us and others just how steadfast our faith in God is. In this, we are rewarded and we offer witness to others. And so this brings us to our weekly challenge. Since God never tires of hearing our petitions, I recommend that you bring in prayer something to the Lord that continues to be a need in your life. And yet, even though you've been praying, perhaps you have not seen anything change. My recommendation is continue in faith to bring that prayer. Mention it specifically, persevere, and of course, conclude by saying, thy will be done. When we pray like that, we will also hear Jesus say to us, great is your faith. While you're on vacation this summer, don't take a vacation from your spiritual life. Subscribe to Two Minutes to Virtue.